ID, which I'm, I'm doing kind of a... We're going to be around the city today. So what I'm going to do is try and hit the local repeater. I'm going to use the parrot to talk back to me. While we're driving around, I'm going to show you guys on the maps how far I can hit with this. I have, I have it fully charged right now. I'm going to be using my tram browning, which I showed you. I'll have a link to that in the description. I showed you this about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, how I put this on here and I put some silicone. I wish I would have put some tape on that to bring the, the side out when I put it down. But anyway, it is held firm. It has hit things. I've hit things on the top. All kinds of stuff. So I'm going to connect this to this radio while we're driving around area of St. Louis. Try to hit the repeater and, on a single charge and just see what happens. So let's get started. This is the TID. And I'm going to go to my Parrot. And from my house, I know I can hit it. I don't want to start a conversation because we're going to be busy. Parrot. N9YO testing parrot. N9YO testing parrot. N9YO testing parrot. N9YO testing parrot. Okay, so we're good for my home. I knew we would be. I'm going to connect to that and get rid of this rubber ducky and see how far away we can get and still hit that repeater. So I'm here at the St. Charles Area Arena, and we have this big area here, and I'm teaching my daughter to drive. Uh, she's been doing really good. She can get her permit in about six months. So we've been driving around here, a very safe place, around the roads and all. Anyway, I'll try to hit the repeater from here, and we're a little bit closer, so it should be no problem, but we'll do it anyway, just for testing purposes. All right, God help me. N9YO testing parrot, N9YO testing parrot. You can go ahead and start. Okay. I don't know if you want to. N9YO testing parrot. N9YO testing parrot. This is so weird not having to drive. It's really nice. Can't wait till she gets her permit. Like an ace! Okay, we're at our second area and we're actually closer and I'm on a big hill but we met our daughter here to play our other daughter anyway let's give it a test just because we're here all right using that antenna right there I'm probably standing too close to it you want to be away from RF but N9YO testing parrot N9YO testing parrot from Kid Park N9YO testing parrot N9YO testing parrot from Kid Park. Okay, as I mentioned, that was a the digital repeater. And this park I've never been to, but it's up high, as you can tell. I'm thinking about operating here because it's close to my house. That might be a nice area. Um, I don't generally like being around a lot of people, but I'm going to go check out that area, kind of isolated. That might be a good place to operate. Let's go check it out. So, our next test is here at this uh, St. Charles Mall in, I mean, Chesterfield Mall in Chesterfield, Missouri. And it's very, very strange. This mall is one of those of many that have completely collapsed. I think mostly online shopping did it, but we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you the creepiest mall I know of where 95% of the stores are closed. And you see that big available sign? That's where Sears was. This mall has been around for a very long time. We have a lot of memories in there, even though we've lived in this area for only like 12 years. We have a lot of memories in there, and it's very creepy to walk around in that mall and to see all the stores closed, but I'll show you that in a second. And right now I'm going to do another radio test on top of that hill over here and see if we can still hit that repeater from here. I think we're quite a bit further away now on our day of fun. Okay, so the only stores left in this mall are like the American Doll Girl Store, Doll Store, Cheesecake Factory, a movie theater, and vintage stock. The rest of them all pretty much empty. Um, anyway, we're in Chesterfield, Missouri, and I'm going to run another test using this antenna and see if we can hit it. Actually, I like that antenna so much, and I have, we got this car for free from my in-laws. It had a lot of problems, so I actually had to spend money to fix it. So that's how we ended up with this third car, um, and I use it as a beater. I drive around all over the place. 
it doesn't have air conditioning, so it's, you cannot drive this in the summer. It's way too hot. Um, all right. So uh, on my other car, the N9 N9 Yo Mobile, <laughs> I, uh, I I bought another antenna, but I haven't put it on yet because I like that one so much. All right, let's give it a try. N9 Yo testing parrot. N9 Yo testing parrot. N9YO testing parrot. N9YO testing parrot. Works great. It's funny this car has so many problems with it because it's so old. It's a Toyota Echo. Like if you're parked on a hill or something and the door opens, it doesn't stop. There's nothing to stop it. It just will whack the car. So it's really hard to get in and out of. Kind of funny. And I, I don't know if you've done this in a long time, but. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one of my the only store that's interesting I find left in a mall but it gets this is the only part that pretty much has stuff you go down the food court uh, let's actually check out the first, just to make sure okay to that used to be a pretzel store which actually wasn't very good it was no Auntie Anne's they do have an art store over there which is pretty interesting but this end of the mall is pretty much it Everything else, dead. We'll go check it out. It feels like if you have seen Zombieland 2, where they're Woody Harrelson and another guy are, are on these little bike things going through the mall, it feels a lot like that. We were thinking about seeing Knives Out. I heard it's good for all ages, so we might see it, but we'll check on the times. Closed, 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 closed. Closed, closed. Over here, there was a carousel, and they've removed it entirely. But I have memories of taking, taking her on that carousel, and even my dad being here. And it's all gone now. It's kind of weird. It gives you that kind of like sinking feeling of something isn't right. Now, it's what's interesting is that we we used to have stores, uh, ladies' clothing stores, growing up. And that got harder and harder as the malls came in. They became popular in the 70s and 80s, very popular. And it, it killed downtown businesses. So we, we even opened a few stores in the malls, my parents did, and my grandparents. And they were very expensive to run because they charged a lot of rent for these spaces. And uh, so they were hard to make money in. Uh, but then Walmart came and now we're seeing the end of malls, which is very creepy to me. I never thought we'd see the end of malls, but this is what it's like now. I can't believe they let us walk around here, quite honestly. Tornadoes! Hmm? Feels like the apocalypse is upon us. What am I going to call this video? Uh, DMR radio and apocalyptic mall. Huh. The only inhabitants of the mall now are ghosts. Okay, obviously that was Dillard's. Whoa. California Pizza Kitchen, we used to eat there. Loved eating there, CPK. And all closed. I think even last week, looks like they're taking the escalators out. Last week these were running. Now they're taking them out. How crazy is that? Want to use the escalator? <laughs> it's a slide now. <laughs> so we were just talking about how cool it would be is if this didn't look like this, but this was your home. And this is one area or wing of your home. And so this would be your living room down there. Of course it would be nice and comfortable and the TV would be there. And then my daughter said the Dillard's would be her bedroom. And maybe my radio ham shack would be that entire, this entire area right there. Or, no, my ham shack would be right there. And then, <laughs> then my wife's bathroom would be over here, daughter's bathroom. And then this would just be one wing of our house. How cool would that be? That's my dream. That looks like a real tree. I wonder what they're going to do with it. kind of feel bad for it because it's, that tree is doomed. <laughs> I feel bad for that tree, I really do. 
heard this mall was owned by Macy's, which is why Macy's, which is completely empty, would have the only department store left here. But this is an interesting store. I think when it's open, it's never open, is you pay like a flat fee, and then you can go in and play all these old arcade games for free for as long as you want. Like Miss Pac-Man, arcade classics, bunch of pinball machines. That scared me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think these are all multiplayer, multi-type games. And I can't quite see in there, but... It's kind of neat. They have the old Tron poster for a, for a competition. That game was really hard. It was the controller sucked on it. I remember that. And to wrap this part up, not one store in the food court. All the chairs are still there. We can still walk around this entire mall. I think that used to be Subway. That was a chicken place. Charlie's Chicken or something. Um, used to be a lot of stuff, but have you ever seen a mall with no? And this used to be a thriving mall. It just kind of like died overnight though. It just, other malls linger, but this one just died. Um, I'll have a foot long cold cut combo and uh, no, not that lettuce. Um, I'll have, uh, yeah, uh, salt, pepper, uh, vinegar, and that'll be $44 and what? <laughs> Subway is so expensive. Closed. My daughter wanted to see what was in that restaurant back there, so I'm keeping a lookout for the security guard while she goes back there. I like to let her explore, keep her, keep her curious, you know what I mean? <laughs> I did see a security guard walking around here. Probably the most easiest job and the most boring job in the whole world. I would like to have that guy. I like vintage stock. They're a good store if you're looking for interesting books and stuff, but I would like to have him. He looks kind of cheesy though, doesn't he? His suit looks so stupid looking, you know? He doesn't fill out his suit very well. Cool helmet though. Hey, um, if you want some food, it's going to take a really long time to get it. I've been waiting here for my order forever. Okay, it's kind of cool. They have this statue in Chesterfield, Missouri. By the way, that mall that was abandoned, this is not a depressed area. It's a very affluent area, which is what makes it really weird. They did build two outlet malls over there at the same time, and that did help destroy that mall. I just wanted to add that. Okay, so this is a man. He looks like he's crawling. It's an artwork. It looks like he's crawling out of the earth. They've got a hand, a foot down there, a leg, and an arm. We'll go over there in a second, but I'm going to hit the repeater again. Wow, I'm not hitting it. Wow, I'm only half a mile. I'm a little bit further down in what they call the valley, I guess. I'm not hitting the repeater. I'm a little surprised. It makes you, when you can't hit it suddenly, it makes you wonder, did you do something wrong? I'm not gonna try to hit any other repeaters, just, I'm just testing one. But I just went half a mile away and I can't hit it anymore. Hmm. We're at the top of a hill now. I'm going to give it a try. Alright, I'm a little surprised. I thought I'd be able to hit it from here. I think if I had 50 watts, I could, but with just... I think this is a 5 watt radio. This TID. Um, I got this for free. I got it to uh, for a review, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So, let me key up and see if I can hit. I haven't been able to hit it from this distance. I really like, it's not, it's not hitting. I really like that DMR has a parrot, it's a channel where you can kerchunk the repeater. Cause I like to test it out. I want I just want to know, can I hit it? And without kerchunk, you're not technically supposed to kerchunk a, a, a repeater. Kerchunk, 
Uh, but I like the fact that I can use this to test it. I can just, I just want to test all the time. And I'm using Parrot. Not from here. I bet if I had 50 watts I could though. Alright. Would you believe that, that that is a daycare? It looks like a castle. So I'm here, we just got some Culver's. I'm gonna give it a try. No connection from Culver's in O'Fallon. Now, as we planned our day out, I didn't actually know exactly where this repeater is. I have a pretty good idea. It's kind of east of where we started, not north or south or anything. So we went to the south and west, as you saw on the maps. And I'm heading east now, and I'm hitting the button trying to connect to the repeater. As we go closer back to home, as our day ends, before we watch the Super Bowl, <laughs> go Chiefs! And I'm hitting the button, and as soon as it, I can connect, I will uh, let you know. I'm guessing as soon as I get to the top of this hill up here, it'll work. So I'm gonna hit the button. Let's see. working. Gotta get closer. Okay, so I'm sorry guys. Something weird happened with my connector. I may have broken the connector or something because when I, when it, this test first stopped working, it didn't work at all even when I got home where it should have worked. And so just as I got home, I put my other rubber duck on here just to test and it works. So my test was skewed. I know how far out it goes, but I don't know. It probably could have gone further, but something went wrong. This thing fell out. It looks like it's broken. Looks like my little connector. You see, it's got a little, it's got a problem right there. I think my connector damaged my whole test. Sorry about that, guys, but I, I think this test was a failure. Anyway, it was still fun. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll do this again sometime.